Hey there, and welcome back to the Train of Thought, an educational monster train series where... Why did I do it that way? That's a great question. I'm not sure. It just seemed like the cool thing to do in that moment. Uh, the real thing I want to talk about today is actually something wild that happened to me. So hear me out. I, you know my deal with d and I love the game, play it a ton, been having a blast with it. I play in one campaign, Icewind Dale. I run another campaign, Ghosts of Saltmarsh, and we're having a good time. I decided through an absolutely crazy amount of like what's the right word i'm looking for introspection i suppose where i evaluated my uh, introversion and my fears and things like that and i decided to join a public game i really wanted to play curse of strahd actually it was the first campaign and setting i was ever introduced to in D D. And it's gritty and it's grimdark, right? It's gloomy. There's everything is out to kill you. Nothing likes you. It's bad. And I used to play a lot of, what is it? Rogue Trader, Warhammer 40k kind of setting art role play. And I really enjoy the grimdark. So I enjoyed that a lot. Now, sadly, our group in that session, in that group, in that setup, opted to move on to Icewind Dale pretty quickly because people weren't enjoying the grim dark. You know, the their general opinion was real life is crappy enough. Let's play a less crappy setting when we're role playing, right? And you know what? Totally fair, right? I think the problem is that there's like xenophobia in there, which essentially boils down to racism in a lot of cases. And the, the main enemy, Strahd, is hyper obsessive over a woman and objectifies her. And it's, it's tough for a DM to run that in a respectful way that doesn't just offend women at a table, for instance. Uh, but it's also difficult simply because, well, playing a weird race, like even something as mundane as an elf in D D, like Curse of Strahd, they just don't know what the hell to do with an elf and you just get mistreated at everything. And if you're playing a beast race, oh man, heaven help you. So so anyway, they my my group that I'm playing with now gave up on it. And so I joined a public Curse of Strahd campaign. We had a really good insane session where a bunch of players died. It was tough. We were having fun though. And then the the DM went nuclear and just kicked like three people out of the campaign and including myself. And the reason was their justification for kicking me from the campaign was that I was not getting the rules, quote unquote. And I'm looking at that and I'm thinking to myself, bud. I run a campaign and I play in another one. We're like 95% rules as written. And I was the one quoting rules that he was forgetting about. Maybe that's really what he hated me for, right? He hated me because he was forgetting rules and I was reminding him come nicely. I don't know. There's a whole kind of meta discussion about who's in the right, who's in the wrong. And honestly, I don't feel like having it right now. So needless to say, that campaign fizzled. I was devastated. Honestly, I went out on a limb and tried to join a campaign and got kicked for it. So, man, that that just sucked. That sucked a lot. But then I was very strongly vindicated by everyone else in that group left the DM citing that they were having problems with that DM, reached out to me on Discord and started up a Lost Mine of Fandelver campaign on the side. And so we still have the same player group with a different DM now. And we had our most recent session of that last weekend. So, and that was honestly a lot of fun. I've never done that setting either. So that was a pretty cool one. So yeah, kind of a cool, in, interesting system, uh, how that worked out. So I'm currently in a third campaign now playing Lost, My, Lost Mine of Fandelver. The funny thing about it though is I don't, like, I didn't want to play that campaign. Like, I'm looking for Curse of Strahd. So even though I've got another campaign that's fun, I'm looking at this and going to my, and thinking to myself, man, this is this is not really what I wanted. <laughs> this this setting is is very standard Faerun, right? So I don't know. 
Anyway, that's five minutes of me talking about D&D at the start of this. I need to get it going because I only allow myself six minutes for the intro. So yeah, here we go. Monster Train, right? That's why we're all here. Let's get in on it. So our previous run was Windleton. We had a nail biter on survivability, but with Divine Mark of an Exile uh, into Patient. Strangler 2 Windleton just to get more HP and a hard pivot into Keepers over an Animus of Will. Uh, it honestly mattered. That run was tough, and I think I made a lot of good decisions, and I like it. That, that felt good to play that and win as a result of making good decisions, so we take these. Today we move on to Soul Guard. Sure, why not? We love a good incant run. Seems fine. Hopefully I don't get dregs or queen zumplings, or else this run is going to be bad. But uh, it is what it is. We're currently on a 99 win streak on this series, right? So if I win this run, I get to 100. And that's just on the channel, too. I've actually been on a 100 win streak for a while, if we look at my logbook, right? I just stopped recording on the win streak because... I don't know, I'm tired, and I don't know, no one's really, like, competing on this, so it doesn't feel valuable for me to spend all my time just recording on that. So I just kind of turn on a mod that does nothing at this point. You see me check that at the beginning of every run, by the way. That's what I do there. I just go, hey, did I actually remember to turn this on before I accidentally have a on, on the win streak run? But uh, anyway, 6 minutes and 30 seconds. I am talking too much. Uh, it was a long story at the beginning, but all right, fair enough. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. As always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's see what Soul Guard has in store for us today. Cool. Oh, this is going to be good. I have awoken. Love to see it. Anyway, hope you're all having a good one. I'm doing just fine, honestly. I had a really quick recording before this, so this is actually number two for the day, which is honestly great. So, cool. Um, getting two in is nice. Build up that backlog. Let's do it. Uh, anyway, we are Exile Stygian with Default Awoken, giving us restores. We have Pushback, Tallow, Spell Shield, Fell, and Chase Seraph with Ice Tornado, Wildwood Sap, and Cuddle Hex. Cuddle X is terrible, but Ice Tornado is fine, and Restores are great here. I could honestly go all sorts of directions with this run, so let's look ahead. Temples on 2, 4, 5, and 8. 4 temples is good. We'll back up and look for our Steel Shops. 8, 7, 4. So mid... So five and six do not have one. And then we have one on two. So that's not that many, but it's fine. Banner wise, we give it an Awoken banner. I really do like that on with the Steel Shop. And we have in a Magic Shop with Stygian banner. So I have some options here. Another Awoken banner with the Magic Shop on ring three. It's honestly good, right? That's true. Dupes are four. That's a bad one. Five, that's a good one. It's a removal dupe with caverns. And then seven, which is okay, but not great. It's kind of bad, no generation, but it's not terrible. It's below average, I would say. Okay. Root Split Mask is huge. There's so many reasons I want to click this, so I will. Titan's Claws is also bad, even though I have Cuddle Hex and Ice Tornado. Root Split Mask is just too good. Skip. So we take it. Titan channel, cold channel. I think I could reasonably do cold channel here with the restore plus wildwood sap line. The problem is cold channel would lock me somewhat out of the hollows, right? So thorned hollow and awoken hollow. And I think I'd like to keep myself open to them. So I'm going to take Titan channel instead. This also makes me really strong right now, so I can just take this horde and be fine with it. Channel Heart. I was really hoping that would be the other one. Channel Heart's fine. It, seeing it this early is okay. I can hopefully find something that gives me stings in this run. So, sure. Stings are honestly one of the best cards you can grab here. This is terrifying. Aggressive amulet with no pings. And clergy? Ooh, buddy. Right? 
I mean, Ice Tornado, I guess. This kills me. This is unreal how strong this is. I really want to take this. Can I get through this somehow? Yes, I can. Watch this. I just had to think it through. So what we do, you soul guard here on bottom. We drop the ice tornado and then we foregone power, foregone power. We do not do the fourth incant here. You just play nothing and I put a train steward in. Right, we let the clergyman walk here. And then I brain steward restore brain steward Orgon power and we should get through wow really I guess so. I would have done better if I had put the... Yeah, all right, well. That's odd. Yeah, I guess so. That's rough, actually. Bad draws. Okay, well... Don't love that. I take 15 here. And, I mean, I just kind of eat it on top. I'm not dead, right? 18. I definitely did bad on that, though. I really, I mean, I knew I would eat it on this. I did not respect at all. So he can hit me four times and I live. So we do, what, 120 minus 18. He walks up at 102. He then eats 20 damage and 17 damage and one. Then 20 damage and 16 then 20 damage, and he dies. So he hits me three times. It's not good, but we're not dead, right? Yeah. Okay, well, 33 damage taken. I'm gonna take the offering token here. I better get something good out of that, right? We're gonna grab Glimmer. No stings, by the way. Oh, ah, Woken Hollow, yeah? Woken Hollow is good. Sure. Right? I think that's pretty solid. Hollow with all my regions. Yeah, sure, I'll grab that. Okay, I mean, I feel good about that. We'll go left here. I'm going to look for something to pump up. Multi-strike plus 25 is good. Yeah, Shattered Shell. Okay, so I mean... This seems really good. I feel like that was a worthy exchange. We do not take any more shards and we chill. We move on. I don't think I take more damage here, right? Oh, oh man. Mark of Invasion. <laughs> there are draw orders that kill me here. I cannot click it. That's funny. The punishment. The early game punishment. Yeah, this, this draw order actually kills me, which is amazing. I love that so much. Awesome. <laughs> uh, that's good. I guess I could have played that on Mr. Friend there, but it's okay. All right, show me... Hey, we take these. Show me that regen power. Cool, cool. I would like very much to... We're okay here as long as I... Play one restore upstairs. I play one restore down here. I can then put down Cuddle Hex and summon that dude. We're going to be okay. Like, we live on this, right? 
Yeah, we're fine. I just do heal, and then wildwood sap, wildwood sap, frostbite, and we're okay. Yeah, we're gonna be all right here. For sure. Cool. This is gonna be strong. Trust. Trust. By Ice Empire. Good grief, that's a strong card. I think I want the other offering token though, actually, like unironically. Yeah, because I want things that I can play that are low. Yeah, that are low opportunity cost, so I can put Soul Guard somewhere else. Yeah, sure. No stings, by the way. Game hates me. It's okay. I think I take the Vine Grasp. Now the ping is basically the glimmer here, right? So I grab another Wildwood Sap. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I go to the right. Look for some kind of an infusion here, probably. Magic Shop's basically dead to me, unless they show me a holdover on top. And even if they do, it's kind of dead. I'm going to go left and look for, I don't know, Shark or something. Yeah. Horde says Icicle Fracture. Man, imagine if I had the icy, icy Claws thing. But even then, I wouldn't care. We're going to take Lost Luggage. It's just fine. Stygian Banner says, yeah, actually, Shark. Sure. Grab the Horde. Founding Seal. Excellent. Crap shoots a good card. Cool. Really easy decisions, actually. Really strong, all things considered. Imagine, I didn't take... I'm looking for a Siren of the Sea, actually, for that Shattered Shell. Also would take a... Nameless Siren, I suppose, right? Yeah, like here you just kind of do what? Soul Guard middle, I play both my dudes upstairs, I offering token and offering token here, which pops my dude out. And then we play the Wildwood Sap, I believe. And I just frostbite the boss. Cool. We're going to lose our dude pretty quickly, but it's going to be fine, right? Trust. Goodbye, Cuddle Hex. <laughs> I guess. Door. Does not matter. Whatever. We're good. Uh, we'll make it. Not worried in the slightest. We get the Glimmer. We take the Restore. I just get a lot of stuff here. Door. The days I did that intentionally to hopefully dissuade the Punchies. We just... We just re regen, regen here. Door. I'll play it out. The Train Steward. You have to go bottom. Yeah, cool. Great job. Go team. Just go for regen here, no problem. Cool. Seems good. Now, we should get out of control at this point, right? I'm not concerned in the slightest. You should play regen, regen, regen. Draw through stuff. No worries. Yeah. Now, this is going to be good, right? Regen is your friend. Regen is your friend. Does not matter what I do. Yeah, we are, as they say, cruising. Sure. Obviously, order misplay there, but it's fine. I don't care. Haven't taken any more damage since that initial seven, so that's something. Shard Channeler? No. Ancient Synergy is really good. A great vector for minus ones and stuff. I'll click it. And then... Yeah, Siren of the Sea. Let's go, right? Awesome. Honestly, optimal. Really strong. A draw would be nice here. Energy would also be good here. This channel heart is sad. No stings in my starters, but... I'll just do the infusion next floor. We go to the steel shop and I look for quick. I remove some stuff. We're going to be fine. I am, let's see, Ember will matter at some point, but I could solve this another way, potentially. I don't actually know if I could. I think Ember is a good idea here. I think so, right? I think so. 
Uh, it's tough. I think it is Ember. Yeah, I think so. It'll help out with the lost luggage as well, right? We're going to go to the right, as I said. Merchant of Steel says quick, huge hit. Quick multi-strike Shattered Shell. Great news. I will look at the Awoken banner, and I'm going to remove everything here. Right, because we have our Siren Infusion, which is huge. I'm going to do that infusion right now. Which is great news. Yep. Cool. I'm going to put the minus two in Ancient Synergy, probably. That's expensive, but we are okay with it. Dire Channel. Dire Channel is so bad. I'm going to take Titan Channel too. It's fine. I'm going to remove cards. I cut the train stewards. Sure, I need money on this run. Right? My removal dupe is what? Honestly, probably trap shoot. I think we chill for now. Ah, oh, man, I don't want to give up this minus two. It's really good. How strong am I? Pretty strong. I think we're reasonably really powerful. I need to be... I mean, look at this. I have... I'm crazy good. We're, so, we're fine, right? We're fine. Yes. I actually think there's a universe I could skip the Awoken Hollow here. We're fine also with Heaven Seal, thanks to Root Split Mask. So there's that as well. Like, we're going to test something here, okay? My test is... Soul Guard up top. And we give up on the Awoken Hollow. And we just incant the hell out of two Shattered Shells. Right? Yeah, we're going to try that. I'm going to Shark Middle, actually, for the Collector. I'm going to Soul Guard upstairs. I'm going to Train Steward this. I'm going to Daze the Absolver. And... I may as well put in the Cuddle Hex, actually. Right? True. Shatter Shell comes down. Great news. Remember, I took Heaven Seal, so we just blast mid-floor here. And I take the regens here. Good scaling. And then he gets kills, which are also good. Right? So, check this. We are in this point of ignoring pretty much everything we're just incanting up i want to see how strong we can get right Ooh, not ideal huh i'm gonna discard the weight of contrition i'm going to regen i will ice tornado here need to just keep the scaling going Right, yes. Obviously these curses suck, but we get to the point where we're going to do okay on the scaling and it's going to be fine, right? The, the nice thing here, of course, being a lot of scale power. Yeah, we just play all the cards, right? True. Just incant up. And eventually we get enough kills. We're going to be okay. If I can find an answer to... Well, I didn't find an answer to it. We're going to be all right here. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. Let me just play a bunch of region here. I mean, I think this actually just super wins with two of these, right? Obviously, the Slays compete, but they both do great. Cuddlebeard is an excellent hit. I definitely want to look for some... Multi-strikes, not multi-strikes, endless for my shark. I do think I get rid of the Awoken Hollow, actually. So, in this universe, with the Founding Seal, right? It's just Unga Shattered Shell. Crystalline Seeds is a good card. Invigorating Solution is a great card. Big draw power. I'm looking to convert my Ember into... Strong play, pretty much. I think removal dupe is good here. I could overflow my shattered shell. That seemed promising, but remember, 
A founding seal infused into a shattered shell with a siren of the sea is still only so good. Now, granted, this is basically Siren of the Sea just with Sweep, which is ridiculous. I still go left here for sure, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not trading Pyre Health, dude. I don't think that's worth it. I'm going to skip this event here. I value my Pyre Health as is, and I also value my money too much. Spell Chain is good. Right? Spell chain is very solid here. Offering token, potentially? What is the intrinsic on? Intrinsic trap shoot is a solid choice. I'm going to cut. I don't know if I... I don't think I need this, right? Oh, I don't know. It's tough, right? I'd like to get... Like, hollow is good, right? That's really strong with the double incant here. I'm going to stay the course actually and keep, I'm going to try again with the hollow. I think that with this setup with the restores and everything, the hollow is just superior, especially with three wildwood saps, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to intrinsic the trap shoot for sure and I think we chill for the moment. Therefore, my dupe is simply what what dupe is there that i want another wildwood sap too bad i didn't put a minus one in it right it is a shame i'm gonna chill on these shards yeah i think eventually i want to do self-infused hollow Yeah, so I think I do want to just duplicate a restore here, which is... That's a Wildwood Sap is better here, right? Yeah, fine. We move on. I, I'm I'm really high on shards here. Yeah, I mean, definitely we're going to take the aggressive amulet here. Harvesters of Death does not scare me. Yeah, we're going to do the thing I was doing before, right? Like so, I will drop one. I will. That's a big scale. I do like that a lot. I would like to activate my friend. Right? I mean, because look at this. I want to just play Invigorating Solution, Restore, Restore here. I really think that's correct, yeah? Just, like, think about this, right? Restores are your friend. I just incant upstairs. It's good. Yeah, I mean, thanks again for rooted here. We're going to be okay, right? And now I try to activate my friend on middle floor. Cool. Yeah, we'll be fine here, right? They will rise, but we have the power of everything else. He really just said, wow. Yikes. Yikes, buddy. It's still correct to do this, yeah? Yeah, it it's great. I think this is correct. Look how fast, much faster this scales, right? This honestly just scales significantly faster to such an intense degree that I think this is just way better overall. Yeah, you just take the HP, right? And we'll be fine here because I have a disgusting amount of stats here. Yeah, we're, we're, we're there. This is much stronger. And then I just take space and I self-infuse this sucker and we're going to be okay. True, 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 true. All right, that was a good combat for that. We skip these cards, it's fine. I'm looking for... Fire grow? Edge, edge prior, man. Edge prior. What if I edge prior? No, I'm gonna ensnare. Yeah, ensnare is a better card. Give me give me the thorns, the preserved thorns, please. I have founding seal already, so I'm going to the right here for the horde, maybe an overflow. Thorn fruit! Oh my god! Stings! We hit! 
we are incredibly good at the video game. Put a minus one in a restore. Those cards are good. A plus ten in that same restore. This card is now great. Permafrost? No thanks. Spin it. Holdover. Holdover Ancient Synergy is kind of a disgusting card to play here. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm going to make another restore. Minus one and plus ten. Cool. That's reasonably strong. Caverns now says... Ah, sweet. Plus 25 into my Shattered Shell is the dream here. Great job. That's a very easy snap click. I'm now going to take space here. Yeah, we are super chilling. I take space. I dupe on Ring 8 and Self-Infuse. I remember looking at this before so I can get my shards there. We are chilling. I think we win. Oh man, that thorn fruit hit is insane. Oh, it's so good. Right? You just play Shark, Soul Guard. I guess I draw a card. Hey, you never know when you could hit Shattered Shell off the top, friend. And I now may as well just incant. Right? Sure, right? Seems good. I can just play this trap shoot right now. It's fine. Yeah, sure. I save the wildwood saps. That word. I save that. Oh, man. Here it comes. Let's go. 30 damage sting. Oh, yeah. We love these stats. Soul Guard, I'm sorry. You're kind of just getting thrown away on this run. Huge. The scaling. Sweet. Honestly, optimal. I don't even get kills because we're just too strong right now, but it's drawing an incredible amount of cards here, which I value a lot. Right? Like, this is good. This is so good, in fact, that our Shattered Shell is actually too strong because he's incanting up so high. Like, seriously, he's self-rejuvenating right now. Obviously, he doesn't have a plus, 30, a plus 25 in him right now, which is a fair concern, but it's okay, right? We just play a million cards. We do 300 damage here. We're definitely fast enough here. Yeah. And when I add in the fact that I'm going to be increasing my... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm going to be increasing the size and scaling potential of Hollow. This is going to be good. <laughs> by Soul Guard, by the way. Unreal. We just keep stinging, though, right? I mean, it's just correct. Yeah, for sure. Check this. Our numbers are really good here. Yeah, for sure. And that, that Ancient Synergy gets up to astronomical levels of power. I gotta remove Cuddle Hex, by the way. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good run is good. Another Ancient Synergy. Harness the Titan is probably insane, actually, with how many cards get magic power here. Yeah, sure. And now I take space. We're going to be okay. I take space. I go left looking for removals. Yep. I'm going to cut. Honestly, cut shark. I think I cut shark. I'm going to reroll. Look for a plus 25. Honestly, perfect. Perfect. Plus 25 here. I'm dropping shark at this point. He is, it's going to be Cuddle Hex for sure goes away here. And then Shark goes away. He did his job, which was he helped a little bit. But now he goes away and it's fine. We put in Titan Channel 3, I guess. I mean, you may as well take Dire Channel. If I'm never going to hatch him, then you give him a couple hits and he might pop front lines for me. But those just get like, I can just, I would rather quick sweep them out. So we just tighten channel three and forget about our lad. 
I grab the horde because this is good enough for me. Oh, bloating fungus, you shouldn't have. Yeah, cool. And I remove a card, I think. I would like very much to remove some of these Orgon powers. They're very difficult to play, so I'm going to cut two of them. I think Ice Tornado might need to go, by the way. Those might go next, right? Yeah, those might go next. Let's see. We definitely play everything top floor here. I wish for... I guess I play the Soul Guard, sure. I wish to harness the Titan here. We will restore... Offering token. Should have maybe done that first, gotten the plus five out or something. And then I'm going to daze the enemy. Right, because I don't want that curse. It's annoying. The first one is always the worst. We just incant and incant a whole bunch. Sure. I get the stuff. Ding. I get the Invigorating Solution, Ancient Synergy, Crystalline Seeds, Discard Random Stuff. We're scaling fast enough, right? We are getting there. Yes. I definitely punch things. Yeah, we're going to be okay. Thanks in large part to Root Split Mask. Everything about this run is great when you think about it. Just truly, everything about this run is very good. Yeah, we're scaling just fast enough to catch the 290s, which I think is super critical. How much is this, 54? Two hits gets them, right? Yeah, so we do this. I play the Mutilations, I put down the Wildwood Sap, and I Sting. We actually get all the kills here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Sting. Regen, regen stacking matters a bunch. Lock down creatures, play the Ancient Synergy. Play random cards that are bad, stack regen, good. What if I... Can I get 15 here? Right, I'm zero shards right now. One, two, three. I can do what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I can get seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can play six of them, and then I have two foregone powers that compete. So I can get seven, which Dever hatches my man. That's sad. So instead, we go upstairs and do it up here, right? We just play everything up here. I thought I will punch the man for a hundred and something, right? That's good. I'll put the frost fight downstairs. I think it's good. Yeah. True. Goodbye, soul guard friendo. We're fine, right? I overthought it. A classic example of me thinking way too hard about the video game. We have enough regen. We do plenty of damage here, right? It's it's no problem. True. True enough. Great. Got the trial. No problemo. Preserve. No thanks. I skip all this stuff. Awake is too expensive. Ensnare again is probably really good. Yeah, we'll take another one. Sure. It's hard for me to skip that card in this situation. I go to the right. Money. Everything here happens for a reason, right? I have six space on my floor, so it's Helvent, the Awoken Hollow. Yep. And then we do the self-infuse here, which is big value, right? This is just huge value. So much HP, great stats, double charge speed. Great news. Gnarled Root, Rules of Containment, Rationing Scales, I reroll. Forgotten Name, Precious Plating, probably, actually. I might leak something. 
That's fair. I might leak something. I buy the minus one into harness the Titan. I plus 10 glimmer. I'm going to buy a removal on a ice tornado. This card is bad. I reroll permafrost. No double stack is unfortunate. I'm going to buy another removal into the other ice tornado. I'm pretty confident. I need to be just be playing a bunch of cards is the thing, right? I'm already down to three foregone powers. The ice tornado is just the worst card left in my deck at this point. Yeah, we'll get rid of them. And then I do the minus one restore 20 consume goes into one of these. Actually, no, I value that too highly. Permafrost is again, still pointless. I mean, I might as well buy it in something, right? Is there anything I would sit on? Well, no, right? No, I don't think so. Maybe I sit on an ensnare in the worst case. Lock down a mini boss with it or something, possibly. Sure, I might as well, right? We'll move on. 120 out of 100 is good stuff. Yeah, let's go. Chaste, I think, is probably the scariest creature here because he might cut my regen stacks, but we will quickly ascend to very strong points. And Soulguard also just completely baits this, by the way, which is great news. They completely work together here. So we just avoid... I'm going to actually play the Offering Token downstairs. I'm going to avoid the Wildwood Saps for the moment. I'm going to split off the 140 enemy here. I am going to Glimmer upstairs. That's good scaling. Cool, we chill. Yeah, so we just play all the regen stacks that they show me. I seriously consider definitely Sting upstairs. I think I need the scale, right? But I also would like to... I don't know. I'm just going to slam stuff upstairs. And I will play the ensnare right now. Just take the incant for sure. He should go downstairs. Yeah, cool. He actually spreads it out a bit, which I like a lot. Right, so I'm going to just blast the dude on mid-floor. That's pretty good. And I Sting here. And then we just incant and we get the slays now which i value quite a bit this is a much better line than what else i was considering here right my alternative here was to duplicate the shattered shell and have two of them with soul guard which is not bad honestly it's not terrible but you can do better You can do better, is the important takeaway there, right? We just leave it. I want the slays. The nice thing is I'm not competing on slays this way, right? Whereas the other line, I would absolutely be competing on slays. That would actually be, like, the, the main problem, in fact. I take a hit. Oh, no. Doesn't matter, right? I'll sting downstairs. It's fine. I'm going to blow up the guy on mid floor here and I'll incant upstairs. It's fine. I'm saving all these saps, right? This also gets the kill to my... Yeah, I definitely took a hit there. I forgot. I wasn't paying attention. Chase cleared the rooted. So I just ate 10 there. I didn't need to, which is... A uh, mistake, for sure. It's unfortunate that I would do such a terrible thing, but it's fine. Now he goes, okay, now I can unload on the saps. Which is fine. I'm going to save the trap shoot. I'd like to just, yeah, I'd like to just drop my man in next turn, I think, right? Yeah, I took 10 there. I didn't need to. 
I was not paying attention. Yeah, you come downstairs, we go harness the Titan. He at least kills something, which is cool. I blast the man. Right, we definitely do the restore upstairs. Sure, it doesn't really matter. Our man downstairs gets the hell beaten out of him, but it's fine. He technically killed something, which is fine by me. Yeah, we just kind of send it, I believe. I want to Ancient Synergy into the boss. Brew. We should absolutely win this, right? Yeah, of course. I took damage I didn't need to, though. Oh no, my score? That's okay. Uh, it's fine, right? We actually come out ahead right now, which is kind of funny. It's going to look better on the Divinity, actually, right? Because I could actually just send it. Yeah, 10 damage taken. Didn't need to. Imagine if that 10 damage had killed me, right? If I was at 6 life and I let that walk. I would be a lot more concerned if that had happened, right? I would be looking at it and going, oh no, count everything. Soul Guard. Hollow. Shell. We start with the Trap Shoot. I just regen up immediately. Unload. Let's go. I just need this. Everything is upstairs right now. Just everything is upstairs. It's fine. I just need to get them to a kill point. And I also just need to incant to offset all the other problems here, right? The other problems being you sting first, then you shoot. I ensnare out the yeah, you ensnare out the redirector here, which I think is super correct. We get the kills. This is good, right? We're definitely incanting past the HP threshold that matters here, which is good. And we just play everything upstairs pretty much. I could ensnare something on mid, but I don't think it matters, right? I just give up the ghost on my man, Soul Guard. He is going to just die, and it's fine. I could just save that. I could do that. Save that being the ensnare. There's really no reason not to, right? Yeah, I value the restore more right now. Yeah. This way I can lock the mini boss down for an extra turn, which I suppose I didn't actually matter. It didn't actually have to happen in practice, right? We're actually just super fine. Yeah, we'll get him in two, which is okay, right? We're already doing the 390 required to kill here. Regen up. I mean, he's actually just super dead, right? I just sting, sting, and then he's dead in two right now. I could actually double sting him, and he's dead in one, which is cool. Cool. Take every incant. We're definitely winning the run out of this, right? We've done enough damage to the boss already to put it past the thresholds. We demolish the... We absolutely Shrek the multi-strike wave here, right? Just no chance, which is great news. And the, the nice thing is the Root Split Mask kind of carries pretty hard on everything else as well. Also, it turns out that... It turns out that... Oh, Ancient Synergy is ridiculous here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ancient Synergy. Let's go. Oh, man. That's really good. Love to see it. Yeah, no no chance. He takes a few swings on me, but it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. We do plenty of damage. Yeah, fine. Cool. Good run. Go team. 
made the right call. Took 10 damage, I didn't need to, but it's fine. I was going a little fast, I suppose. That just kind of happens when I know my line wins. I think I the real winning point for me was honestly the thorn fruit. Thorn fruit is really the element of this run that made me go, huh, I can totally just go all in on this and it's fine with only one of them. It wasn't actually the founding seal, funny enough. We'll have the run summary. Yeah, this run's really good. There's a lot of things really good about it that I'm happy to see. The root split mask is huge here. Uh, lost luggage helped a bunch. Founding seal. Like, lost luggage plus thorn fruit come together to forge enough draw power that I do not mind taking no draw relics here and having only ensnares as my plus draws here, right? Or also, I guess, invigorating solution for the one-timer. But Harness Titan did great here, by the way, as well. This card was excellent. You just buff up this Ancient Synergy. There's actually a lot of really good stuff in this run, all things considered. Just really a lot. Yeah, just a ton. I, there's so many good things here. I mean, like the Bloating Fungus helped out. Even the Cuddlebeard kind of mattered. It made the Shark good early. And this is a great example of a run where Shark doesn't have to carry, right? He's good to just have for a while. And then at some point, you don't need him anymore. But he provided enough value, it's fine. And I love that. He's so versatile. Even in a run like this, you can just grab him and throw him away, and it's fine. And you win all the same. And this was a run where I even threw away Soul Guard, which is pretty rare, right? Especially Founding Seal, Titan Channel. This guy is nuts, actually. But in this particular run, we just did not need it. So, pretty cool. The plus 25 on Shattered Shell, by the way, was a real comfy pickup. And then behold, my 10 damage taken on Seraph the Chaste. Oh no, I didn't pay attention to the rooted getting cleansed. It's fine. I'm over it. We win anyway. Oh no, my score. Still pretty decent, so. But yeah, I guess that's all I got for you. That's 100 wins on the series. 100 runs, 100 wins, right? Uh, like I said a couple times, a few of those early on, I think two of them had resets on them because I was demonstrating rare units that suck i think it was like wilting sapwood and maybe glug cider or something because glug cider is a terrible unit but I, I i think i lost on a couple of those technically if you include the resets but i'm, I'm over it those ones are fine and but every single normal run i've played on the series has been a w so absolutely awesome glad to see it this is actually kind of like my point of pride is just don't lose a normal run when I'm randomly playing the game like this. I think I would be the most devastated by a loss on this series right now. But at least we hit triple digits, right? So if I screw up and lose, it's fine. Anyway, I think that's all I got for you. Great run. Good stuff. I love this clan combo. So, hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.